The saying goes that nothing is certain but death and taxes. And while some people may be able to avoid taxes, no one can avoid death. But have you ever wondered what happens to your body after you die? The process, while it may be a bit jarring, is actually really interesting. So let's inspect death through a scientific point of view. First things first, when you die, it should come as a surprise to no one that your heart stops pumping blood. This deprives your cells of oxygen. Cells need oxygen to stay alive, and when they don't get it, they begin to break down and die at varying rates depending on the types of cells. For example, your brain cells die within minutes after you take your final breath, while skin cells can survive for over 24 hours after death. In the absence of oxygen, excess carbon dioxide builds up inside the dead body that can cause an acidic environment. This acidic environment causes the membranes in your cells to rupture. The membranes release enzymes that begin eating the cells from the inside out. This is the first stage of human decomposition known as autolysis or self-digestion, and it begins immediately after death. If you've ever seen a dead person, you may have noticed that the skin looks ashen. The scientific explanation for that is actually pretty simple. Blood circulation helps give skin its color, and when blood stops circulating, the skin will get a grayish tint. Immediately after the heart stops beating, the body temperature falls at a rate of about 1.5 degrees Fahrenheit per hour until it reaches room temperature. This phase is known as the death chill. About three hours after death, the stiffness of death sets in. At this point, the limbs of the deceased are difficult to move. This stiffness starts in the eyelids, jaw, and neck muscles before working its way into the core and then finally the limbs of the dead person. While all of this is fascinating, perhaps the most interesting parts of decomposition happen on the inside. Our bodies host huge numbers of bacteria, and while your cells die relatively shortly after death, the bacteria in your intestines do not. During the putrefaction phase of decomposition, these bacteria get active inside the body, eating your decomposing corpse from the inside. As these microbes work away, gases begin to accumulate in the intestines, and the surrounding tissues expand. Internal organs are broken down into liquids and gases, and these buildups cause the bodies to bloat. In this stage, liquids pour out of all our orifices, while the gases can cause the skin to rupture. A week after death, the body's skin will blister so much that the slightest touch will cause it to fall off. Insects and animals certainly take notice of all of this. The insects and maggots feed on the body, helping it to break down even further. The skin blackens, and along with the bloating and matter breakdown comes the rancid smell. This stage occurs anywhere from 10 to 25 days after death. Next comes the active decay. From around 25 to 50 days after death, maggots and other insects complete the breaking down of soft tissues, skin, and hair, as well as muscles and connective tissue inside the body. The body is broken down into smaller bits of organic matter until there is absolutely nothing left but the skeleton. And over time, that skeleton becomes trapped under layers of sediment and slowly breaks down over thousands of years. Your body, if left to its natural devices, will be broken down and used as fuel by other organisms, and their bodies will do the same. While life for the individual may be over, the cycle of life goes on. <laughs>